Hello, my dear, dear friends. How are you all doing today? I want to talk about another diagnosis that I have been given. Um, so far, I have fibromyalgia and um, inflammation, arthritis, osteoporitis, or whatever it's called. So now I've gone to my doctor to find out what was going on with my shoulder. It's called frozen shoulder. I have limited range of motion. I can actually move it a lot better now because I did get an injection. Look at my nails, you guys. I painted them blue. Anyway, um, yeah, I went to the doctor and they did x-rays and they checked to see how much I could move my arm, you know, and it shows that there is limited uh, motion where, you know, I couldn't lift it over my head. I couldn't put it behind my back. It's still, I can't put it behind my back, but it's not hurting as bad as it was because I did get an injection um, last month. So from what I'm understanding, what frozen shoulder is, and a sci uh, medical term is adhesive capsulitis. And what it is, which is frozen shoulder, and it's sometimes, like I say, called adhesive capsulitis, is a, con a condition that limits the movement in your shoulder joint. You usually have pain and stiffness that comes on gradually, gets worse, and then finally goes away. Um, my pain started in February of 2024, this year, and I had no idea why it was hurting. It was sore, but I still, I th think, had range of motion. But then it started getting worse and it just hurt so bad that I ended up going to emergency and that's when they did an x-ray and they saw spurs on my shoulder. And uh, they kept saying I should probably get an MRI to rule out, you know, any type of nerve damage or whatever. I never could get an MRI through my insurance. But um, I did go to a orthopedic doctor and who specializes in elbows and shoulders. And he did say that I do have frozen shoulder. So um, from what I understand, it says the condition is called frozen shoulder because as your shoulder gets more painful, you use it less, which is so true here. The less you use it, the thicker the shoulder capsule becomes and the more difficult it is to use. So your shoulder feels like it's frozen in place. I had an incident where I, uh, I was trying to take off a t-shirt and I got stuck in, I was stuck in that t-shirt for 15 minutes trying to figure out how could I get out of it because I had so much, such a limited movement in my arm at that time. And I was on the phone with a friend of mine and she was like, just pull your arms up. I said, I can't, one of my arms won't go up. <laughs> we got a good laugh out of that, but she heard me struggling and that just tickled her so bad. I finally got out of it. But um, I'm just really, really happy that it doesn't hurt anymore. But let's see, it says you, there are stages of fro frozen shoulder. You usually go through three phases with a frozen shoulder. Freezing stage, you have pain, sometimes serious. I had serious pain in my shoulder anytime I moved it. Sleeping, I'd wake up, I couldn't sleep because it was hurting so bad if I laid on it the wrong way. It slowly gets worse over time and may hurt more at night. I'm reading this off of a um, MD, whatever. Your short shoulder movement is limited. This stage of limited mobility can last from six to nine months. It says your pain might get better, but your stiffness gets worse. Moving your shoulder gets more difficult 
and it gets harder to do some daily activities. This stage can last from four to 12 months. Hold on, what? I mean, it still hurts, don't get me wrong. What it feels like to me, it feels like it's two bones. And if I move it a, a wrong way, it's like the bone's gonna pop out a socket. That's what it feels like. It feels like if I move my shoulder the wrong way, I'm gonna pop my shoulder out of socket. That's what it feels like. And then another thing it says, this is called the thawing stage. Your range of motion starts to go back to normal. This can take anywhere from five months to two years. So I could be a frozen shoulder lady for two years and I don't want that. Um, there are some causes it says of frozen shoulder that may be causes. It's not clear why some people get frozen shoulder, but some groups are more at risk. Frozen shoulder happens more often in women. You're more likely to get it between the ages of 40 and 60. I'm 60, I just turned 63 in May, so. Another ma major risk factor is being unable to move your shoulder for a long time. So your chances go up if you're recovering from a medical condition like a stroke or surgery, like a mastectomy that keeps you from moving your arm. I have not had any injuries. I have not stopped moving my arm or anything like that. Um, before this happened, I didn't hit it or anything. It says um, you're also at a higher risk of you having reduced movement in your shoulder because of inflammation. Now that um, is true. I do have inflammation from arthritis in my body, so that could be true. Um, certain medical conditions increase your risk. You may also be more likely to get frozen, frozen shoulder if you have diabetes. About 10 to 20% of people with diabetes get frozen shoulder. Other medical problems linked to frozen shoulder are heart disease, thyroid disease, and Parkinson's disease. There's no specific frozen shoulder test. To diagnose it, your doctor will give you a physical exam. You'll move your arm in different ways to see how much it hurts. They may also move your shoulder for you and note the differences. And that's pretty much what they did when I went there. They asked me how much could I move it. If they pulled it, does that hurt? I'm like, yeah. So those were some of the symptoms. Now, or some of the symptoms and causes. Uh, some of the things you can do to help with it is some healthcare providers might prescribe stronger pain relieving and anti-inflammatory drugs. That's why keto is so important for me right now because it helps to reduce inflammation. Therapy, a physical therapist can teach you range of motion exercises to help recover your shoulder movement. Your commitment to doing these exercises is necessary to regain, to regain as much movement as possible. That's something I am actually working on every day is to move my arm, to keep it moving so that I don't lose whatever flexibility I've gotten in it so far from the um, injection I received. Um, you can get surgery for this. The doctor told me they could put me under anesthesia and actually rotate my arm while I'm asleep. Why? Because it's painful. It really, really hurts. I got a steroid injection of cortisone in my shoulder joint and that helped reduce the pain so that it could improve my mobility and get my shoulder moving because I couldn't even do this before. And as I'm doing this, I can feel a little um, pull. I feel a little pull in my shoulder as I'm doing the rotation. Um, there's hydrodilatation. Injecting sterile water into the joint capsule can help stretch the tissue and make it easier to move the joint. 
This is sometimes combined with a steroid injection. Shoulder manipulation, this procedure involves a medication called a general anesthesia. So you'll be unconscious and feel no pain. Then the care provider moves the shoulder joint in different directions to help loosen the tightened tissue. That's exactly what my doctor said. <laughs> I don't not do it. I like anesthesia because I like that quick nap, you know, that feels so refreshing. But anyway, I, I don't, I really don't want to do that. I, I want to just try and keep it moving and everything and eventually it goes away. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it um, informative because I, you know, I hadn't heard of frozen shoulder before and a lot of times when we don't go through something we don't know about it so I just thought I'd share that with you guys and I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you found it entertaining and if you did push that like button push that subscribe button and hey 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 hit the all button on the bell so you'll know every time I upload a video that's you 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 and remember it's free to subscribe so come on you guys let's get on the ball leave me a comment let me know have you ever heard of frozen shoulder it is something that i had never heard of so you guys let me know in the comments what you think and um is it something you've had or something you know about and we will be talking again in the next video take care love you bye bye stay safe